guys, welcome back to Ori's Kitchen, and I'm Ori. Remember guys, I'm not a professional cook, I'm just a mom who likes to cook uh, for the family, and I just wanna share it with you guys, okay? So today's episode, we're gonna be making beer batter fish tacos. Yes, beer batter. So um, I did a lot of research online, and I mixed things up, and I found the one that we like as a family, and my kids like it too, believe it or not, because it's the fish and everything. So um, I want to share with you guys, and maybe your kids might like it too. All right, so come on down here. So I have um, fresh halibut here. I slice it in little pieces, okay? Now, any white fish will be fine. How I got halibut because that's really good. Um, and then you can get like a big chunk of it, and then you can cut it in pieces and put it in the freezer, and then you can always take it out whenever you need, okay? So I have a little bit of that here. Um, so let me show you what I have. So this one is just basic flour, okay? And here I have um, one cup of flour. Any flour will do. I have this one, the self-rising flour. You may have seen it a lot of my other episodes. Um, but basic all-purpose flour would be fine. I also added some salt and pepper in it as well. And the main important ingredient is the beer, okay? So there's dark beer, okay? Modelo Negra. Or there's also basic um, white beers like Dos Ecos, okay? Um, I tried with both of them and honestly, they pretty much taste the same to me. So either or should be great. Or if you have another type of beer that you really like, you can just use that as well. But these are the two that I use and they work fine, okay? So I'm gonna be using my dark beer here, okay? And um, as I'm, I'm going to be putting, pouring it in here, and I usually, I probably use almost all of it, okay? Because you want it to be a little, you know, battery, so like a batter type of uh, mixture, okay? So I'm gonna mix it up and let's see if we need to add more. I'm gonna keep mixing. I'm gonna get it all nice and mixed, so I'll be right back for that. Dump it in the flour, make sure it's all nice and floury, okay? We're gonna shake, shake, shake a little bit of it, then we're gonna put it quickly in our beer batter, get it all over the plate, and then try to get rid of some of the excess here, okay? And then dump it, see? Voila, sizzling, and that's what we wanted. You just gotta keep your eye on it. Um, you know, once it browns on both sides, and just take it out and put it on a paper towel to soak up some of the excess oil. So I'm gonna keep doing this, guys, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so here we go. I put all the fishes in fish in here, okay? You can use a bigger pot. There's, some of them are sticking together, but that's fine, I don't mind. So I'm just gonna, I got my tongue here. Oops. I got my tongue here, and See, it got a little brown here. So I'm, I just like to turn it over to make sure that both sides are evenly brown, okay? So I'll be back. Okay, guys, so we're done here, okay? So I'm just gonna put it on a paper towel, let it kind of soak the oil a little bit for me, okay? So there you go. This is the outcome of my fish taco. It was really easy, you guys. Just put in the black batter and then put it in oil and bam, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna let it cool off and I'll be back. I made myself a little taco. I added some sour cream, salsa. The salsa I love from Vallarta. And not every, any salsa you want. I added some cheese to it and some cilantro. You can even add, you know, with the fish tacos, a lot of people like to add some um, uh, cabbage in there. You can squeeze some lemon juice or lime juice on it too. And then voila, guys. So I am going to take a bite for you guys. My mouth is watering. This is my lunch, you guys. I didn't eat anything. Okay, so here we go. Perfect. So guys, we take a, take a look inside. Look at that, guys. The halibut, nicely cooked with a little crunchiness due to the um, the batter that we put in. It's delicious, guys. Juicy, wonderful combination. So please make sure you subscribe, make it, tag me on Instagram and Facebook, Ori's Kitchen, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.